everyone, RG with RG Fan Games here with a special video for you today. The March 2022 Retro Game Treasure. Ta-da! Um, it's been a while. Missed you guys. Um, haven't had a whole lot of uh, stuff on the collecting lately. Um, been busy. Fans got a new CD. I know I've talked about it before, but we finally finished recording it last night. Um, so a lot of stuff's going on with that. So I'm e eager to share all that stuff with you as it comes out. But uh, very excited to uh, to get my next box. Um, I've been really, really lucky these last couple of boxes between the VGM uh, box, the uh, Retro Game Treasure box from last month. Uh, really, really special. Uh, good stuff. So really excited to see what's in here. Uh, Retro Game Treasure, uh, check them out. You get three to five games for any of the systems you choose. I have chosen all the cartridge-based systems, and I think I still have GameCube on the list. Um, so check them out. This is going to be a quick video. Um, let's get into it. Here we go. I will open the box. Thank you for your subscription. You will have attacking pillows, which we always must pop right away. Done. Anything out there? There's my pack of pill in here. All right. Three of them. Okay. All right. Feel inside. Okay. Okay. There's all kinds of stuff in here. What's going on? All right. On the top, I think we have Super Nintendo. We've got a Super Nintendo game here. All right. Super Nintendo game is one, two, three. Boom. Jungle Book. Um, it's funny. Who's, I was just watching a video where someone else got this. Um, in a box or was just talking about it but uh cool yeah um don't mind the uh the disney uh games it's not you know lion king or um or aladdin but uh i'm sure it's all right i don't think i ever played it before um but i've seen videos uh next up we've got an nes game you guys know i love the nes and uh let's see what we got one two three boom star voyager I don't um I don't remember playing Star Boy. I remember Star Voyager being it being a game. I don't remember seeing it. I don't know if I played it or not. Um so yeah, I can't remember if this is more of like a um um more of like an asteroids game. There was a Star Voyager on Atari's twenty six hundred, I think. Um if I'm not if I'm not mistaken. I don't know if it's like that or but it looks like it's a space shooter of some sort. Um, happy to add it to the collection. It's an acclaimed game. Uh, we've got two more games left. We've got one NES game. And the other, I'm going to assume, is going to be a GameCube game because I can feel the case in the bottom. So, one more NES game. Here we go. One, two, three. Boom. Track and Field 2. Very, very nice. I was obsessed with track and field games, like the arcade game, the original track and field in the arcade game. I loved it. I loved it. I loved it. I loved it. I loved track and field one uh, on the NES. Uh, love, I just love all the Olympic games. Even on the Atari 2600, I had like summer games. And then I had, you know, they had winter games. Anytime there was an Olympic game, um, I loved it for all the systems, even through through from the Apex or from the Atari all the way probably through um all the cartridge systems. I don't know if I ever played an Olympic game though as I got older and, and outside of Mario and Sonic at the Olympics. That was a fun game too. But I've always, always liked Olympic style games. Um so really happy to have this. Uh love love the track and field games by Konami. So very cool. All right. I'm gonna have to this over okay let me keep this in my eyes i got uh i'm definitely gonna say it's gotta be a gamecube because like i said i took i don't subscribe to any other systems here uh it feels big and incomplete or not incomplete <laughs> complete uh one two three here we go boom oh nice lego star wars 2 the original trilogy uh at some point was that gamestop because it's got the old gamestop sticker uh and it is indeed uh complete very cool man this is looks like a really really clean copy or disc is perfect um it's definitely in the original case too 
Uh, you know, you, a lot of times you see GameCube games in non-original cases. Um, you know, obviously, you can see the logo here, place for the memory card up there. Um, it just feels... Um, yeah, this is in great shape. Uh, minus the uh, the uh, thing. Um, this is a cool game. Uh, all the original Lego Star Wars games are all classic. I don't think I've ever actually played this one, um, but I would. Uh, totally would. Uh, these are some of the great. It's funny because as you've gotten, as you, or I want to say as you've gotten older, for people like me, uh, <laughs> you've gotten older. Um, when back in the day, everything was couch co op, right? And now it's super hard to find car, hard to find couch co op games. Uh, when these came out, these were kind of a just a really cool. Uh, breath of fresh air in a way that you could do couch co-op you play with your kids i remember playing nicktoons unite with my boys when they were like super young um we had some great memories playing stuff like that so um games like this indiana jones lego indiana jones the other uh lego star wars the nicktoons games um are all very cool so this is a really cool box uh a nice variety here and that's it the, the boxes box is empty um so really happy that always, always happy to get a complete inbox GameCube game, especially if it's a good one. And this is a good one for sure. Um, very, very happy with track and field too. Love track and field games, uh, especially the Konami ones. And then we got Star Voyager from Acclaim, uh, which I don't remember ever playing, but uh, you know, I'll take it. And then we've got the Jungle Book on the old SNES. So very, very happy with, oh, I can't, uh, you know, so uh, very, very happy with the box. Thank you, Retro Game Treasure. Um, very excited to add all these games to the collection. So uh, let me know, do you guys have any memories, any stories of playing these games? Uh, did you play the track and field game back in the uh, arcade and waste a whole lot of quarters? Because then, especially when you started playing, you would fail your events because you wouldn't qualify. And you just quarter after quarter after quarter, and then your parents would be mad at you. And yeah, that's my memory. I was never good at arcade games, never. So, uh, and I would sit there and I'd watch people who were good. And I'd be happy just sitting there watching them because I could never do. Um, so, anyway, that's the box. Let me know what you think. Like, comment, subscribe, all that kind of fun stuff. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. We're gonna have more videos coming up soonish, probably. Uh, once we do some more game hunting, looking forward to Midwest Gaming Classic that is coming back around here at the end of April. Um, let me know if you're going to be there. I hope to see you all and meet you all again or for the first time. Um, yeah, see you next video. Bye.